So my new book about Erasmus Darwin has got sex in the subtitle. And there's three reasons for that. The first one is the least important, and that is that Erasmus Darwin was himself a great womanizer. He had very, very many children, and it's very easy to see from his letters and from his poetry that he was very interested in sex and in women. But that's a less serious reason for putting sex in the subtitle. There's two other more important reasons. One of them is that Darwin was a great advocate of Linnaean classification. When Linnaeus classified plants, he did it according to their sexual characteristics. And for the more prudish botanists that surrounded Darwin, this was absolutely abhorrent because they didn't want young women to be learning about plants in sexual terms. Darwin, on the contrary, insisted that they should, and he wrote long popular poems where he envisaged flowers as sexual beings that uh, communicated and talked to each other. So that's the first important reason why I included sex. The next one is that Darwin had a rather unusual view of the universe, which he'd, he'd inherited and developed from Ovid, Lucretius, the great Greek and Roman writers of the past. And he envisaged the universe as being fueled by a sexual energy. He had the warring forces of good and evil, and this initial goddess who kept the world alive. So it was a very holistic sort of universe with sex at its foundation. 